Hi guys. So today the look that I have for you is um a, a simple um I I kind of think it's cute. Uh it's easy. Um but it's a little bit bold. So if you're into those kind of looks, stay tuned. So the focus on this look is going to be really thick winged out liner and Nicki Minaj Viva Glam by MAC on the lips. But I'm going to try and tone it down a little bit because I'm not really a fan of like bright like fluorescent colors on my lips personally. So I'm just going to give you a few tips to toning that color down if you're interested in using that color but aren't really that bold with colors in your lips, this video might be good for you. So the first, I'm going to start with the lips. And my first trick to toning down a really bright, um, almost neon color is to use a nude lip liner. Um, the lip liner that I have today is the Boutique Lip Liner in Natural and it looks like this. I just got this at my local Sally's and I'm going to line a little bit outside the lips to make my lips look a little bit bigger, a little bit plumper and I'm going to take it all over the lips as well. And I don't really recommend um, lining your lips with more of like a not a skin tone, but like a light tone because that's just going to bring out the true color of the lips, uh, the lipstick that you're applying over it, and that's not going to do anything for muting out the color. So you should have something like that. Just messy. Just kind of going for the left with the color. Okay. And now for the lipstick. Now as you can see, this color is bright, um, crazy pink for the only, the bold people out here. I'm pretty bold with my makeup, but I'm just not really a fan of colors like this on my lips by themselves. So I'm just going to apply that. Focusing on the center and letting that lip liner be on its own, and like the out, see how I didn't really go all the way in here. Okay, now I'm just gonna take my finger and just gonna kind of. Go over that color, try and bend and try and blend it in a little bit. Okay. Now that's obviously a really, really, really bright color for me. And I'm not really a fan. So um The second step that I have, or the second tip that I have, um, to kind of mute out a color like this, is to use a lighter lip gloss over it. Um, you can use a nude, and for that I'd recommend the Buxom Lip Gloss in Samantha. It's this really pretty nudie pink color, or I'd recommend... Turkish Delight by NARS. I personally like this combination, um, but the Buxom works well too. So I'm going to apply this pretty generously on top. As you can see, compare the bottom to the top, it's already toning it down a lot. And I'm going to go over again with my finger. And 
And look at that color. I think that is so pretty. And it's not, it's still the Viva Glam Nicki Minaj, but it's not this bright neon unflattering color on me. Now, after I do a color like this, it's not a nude color, um, to make sure I don't get any on my teeth throughout the day, I take my finger, could be any finger, and I put it all the way in my mouth and just suck out so that the lip color that would be on your teeth is now off. And that's a great trick. Because there's nothing more embarrassing than walking around with a lip color on your teeth. That is disgusting. So I think everyone should do that trick. Okay. Now for the eyes. Um, with a bold lip like this, I think that bold eyes match well. But not like, oh, all this eyeliner, all this color, all ever no. So I'm just going to do really bold eyeliner, comparable with um, the signature Lady Gaga eyeliner. I love that look. So that's what I'm going to do on me. So I'm going to take my e.l.f. cream eyeliner in, in black, just on my... Um, angled brush like this. It's not a synthetic brush. And I'm going to take some of that brush. And I'm going to tilt my mirror up and look down into it. And I'm going to follow like how my, my bottom eye goes. If it were to continue up that's where I'm going to draw my line. And I'm going to draw it pretty far out. Like that. And then I'm going to take my brush, put the, put the tall edge of it onto the end of that line, and just pull in, creating that wing shape. Now, I don't have any eyeliner, I mean, I don't have any eye primer on for this. Just because for me, um, this eyeliner alone doesn't crease, crease on me. I do have um, some foundation on my eyelid just as a base. However, um, when I'm just doing an eyeliner look like this with no shadow, I normally don't apply a primer. Because it doesn't crease on me, it doesn't transfer. Um, this eyeliner is great. Once it dries, it's not going anywhere. So I find that on me, I don't need to put on a primer. But if you know that you have oily eyelids and you want to try out this look, I do recommend putting on a primer first. Now I'm just going to continue with this line. Continue bringing it in, keeping it pretty thick going into the inner corner. Um, just because I like that look, I'm trying to... Um, kind of copy Lady Gaga's signature really thick eyeliner look like this and she has it pretty thick going into the inner corner but the thing about makeup is you have to know what works for you if you know that you look totally ridiculous with your eyeliner thick into the inner corner Adjust it to yourself. Don't make it so thick coming into the inner corner. Keep it thick out here and just slowly bring it in. You have to know what works for you and you have to know yourself and your features. And the only way to really find that out is to experiment a lot. And just learn what works for you, what looks good on you, what colors look good on you, um, what styles, what shapes, you know?
And if you want, you can bring it into the lower lash line a little bit and just deepen that outer corner. Just because your eyes are so bold on the top. And you can finish with mascara. I already have mine on, so I'm not going to do it. Um, you can do some lashes. I think that Demi's will look great with this look. Um, and yeah. That's it for the eyes and the lips. Now for the cheeks. I'm just going to go in and contour with my usual contour. My Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer my favorite bronzer of all time with my big fluffy brush and for my cheeks I'm going to go in with my Bobbi Brown blush in apricot number six and it's this bright pink blush just to tie in with the entire look I'm going to go with go in with my Clinique blush brush and just take a little bit put on the tops of my cheeks. And I'm just going to blend that in a little bit with my big blush brush. Um, and if you didn't want this like bright cheek with uh, this bold look you can always use a new cheek um, for that I would recommend Clinique uh, what is it called Cupid like this something like this something light and um, not too bold uh, but I like this I hope you guys try it out. As always, stay beautiful.